of that kingdom are those who even hear our voice right at the end or even receive this information and don't know where it's coming from. In other words, some might hear our voice and might know that where it is coming from, might know that I exist in physical form here about to leave. Others might not know that I do. But they, something tells them, I've got to break away. I can't stand to stay here. I've got to go to that kingdom level. So that's three types that can go, that can be saved, that will not need to experience recycling. Even that faith that would have them willing to leave, desiring to leave, trusting in that information, those who actually know me have more serious time of test than those who believe this information and don't know me. The lower forces, once you see me in this vehicle, the forces of Lucifer, of Satan, the lower forces of this planet, that run this planet, by the way, those forces would do anything they can to keep these from succeeding with their task, to keep number two example of those that can go from succeeding in their task, and would do anything to keep even an initial believer from believing. Their whole effort, the lower forces whole effort is to have us not succeed in leaving and being in the keeping of the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. So, here we are. We're coming public with this information that we're about to leave. And this is like putting ourselves right out on the playing field so that the lower forces have a chance to try to do to us what they can do to us. It also will have challenge all those who are religious minded to look at us and say, hmm, is that the truth or is that not the truth? Is that Antichrist or the spurious Messiah? Spurious Messiah is the term that some prominent television satellite uh, ministries use in describing the Antichrist. Now, the Antichrist, the, according to what they say, is coming before Christ comes. So, uh, that's, since he's not really on the scene, they say, then that means that Christ's second return has not really occurred. Well, I hate to tell you, but the Antichrist, the spurious Messiah, has been on the scene ever since. My father and I left 2,000 years ago. And they have worked as hard as they could work through religions, through governments, through morality, through uh, responsibility as human to brainwash humans to expect heaven on earth, not to look to go to the kingdom of heaven, but to look for a heaven on earth, to work toward the future, to be preoccupied with replicating or reproducing children and laying aside enough money to take care of those children so that they will have a future and they will have a future and they will have a future in what? The human kingdom. To the next level, the human kingdom is nothing but a stepping stone. Anyone who wants to stay in the human kingdom and make it some sort of divinity is looking to some spurious messiah, some antichrist. Now, I know that those that are waiting for the spurious messiah, the antichrist, if they become aware of this tape and of Doe sitting here saying what I'm saying now, they'll say, that's the one. Because I warned you that the spurious Messiah would say, I'll take you out of here. I'll rapture you into my Father's kingdom. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that if you can believe my Father's information, if you can believe the truth that we share with you, 
and if you believe it enough that you can put your trust in me and that's a big dose that's a difficult task to trust me you do not know me well enough to trust me I understand that these know me you don't know me we have a website now you know it's the popular thing everybody has to have a website we have a website on the internet called heaven's gate heaven's gate of course dot com everything is dot com we're not dot org we're dot com so if you want to learn more about who we are what we have to say what i have to say what my older member can share with you through what we have said and know of our history we have nothing to hide even though to you we are a dangerous cult we understand that why dangerous because we threaten the family we threaten the established norm of family values if you knew Jesus 2,000 years ago you would know that exactly the same thing occurred and that the reason for getting rid of him was because if people really began to follow him to any significant degree it's a political danger it's against what the mainstream was teaching what the norm was in the governments or the family and certainly against the religion of that time religion today is an interesting thing because remember how we said a moment ago that the religious literature like the Bible the Quran the Torah the these are time manuals these are in the time that something was written as the Lord or as God related to man it was appropriate for them at that time and yet we have the bulk if not the vast majority of humans on the planet today who are very religious living exactly as they were trying to live some 5,000 years ago some 4,000 years ago they never made it to 2,000 2,000 years ago was a chance to get out of here if you had listened to what the level next level's representative had to say to you but two thousand years ago that's a chance to get out of here requires everything of you that you as an individual go join some cult that you leave everything behind that you ignore the members of your family that you ignore the responsibility to your community that you ignore your career and that hearts will be broken I don't mean to make light of that that hearts will be broken I know that hearts are broken I also know that anyone that leaves to go to my father's kingdom that any heart that is broken in the process of that transition can easily be more than healed if that heart looks to my father for healing looks to my father for understanding does not need to see this as a terrible experience many times the worst things in the human kingdom that can happen to us end up being the best things that can happen to us because we learn in-depth lessons because because of those difficult times every life that was touched by these that are sitting in front of me every life that was hurt or experienced pain by their leaving and becoming students of mine and of my father's was hurt severely hurt some of them still hurt they hurt because they choose to still hurt they could actually say thank you God for the lesson that is mine to learn in this experience and as far as that individual that I used to call my son or daughter or my husband or wife I put them in your trust I cannot tell them what they must do with their life that is their decision I cannot tell them what to do with their life we cannot judge each other I cannot judge you I don't care to judge you you will judge yourselves by what you do 